All right, hey Cancer, so I'm doing um, a new energy check-in for you guys. So this is for those of you who have met somebody new recently, started talking to somebody, and you're just uh, here to see what the potential is between you and this person. So not everybody's going to resonate with this read, you guys, especially if you haven't met somebody new. This is for those who have met somebody new and you just kind of want to gauge where this might go. <clears throat> All right, so you're going to know this is your read by the energy and what you think about this person. All right, and um, if you're new, welcome, you guys. I do hope that you uh, subscribe to my channel and stick around. Um, so definitely it is something new. The Page of Cups is going to mark give us that indication. Um, this is new. I do feel like uh, it's it's you're feeling pretty romantic about the, the connection, Cancer, just because it's coming out. You're coming out with the energy of the Page of Cups. All right. So the eight of wands comes through as some uh, flirty type of communication. You know, this is excitement right here, you guys. So you're really excited about this person, this new energy, th th this new person that you met. Um, I see you guys um, really. I, I feel like there is. I feel like it, I, I feel like you're ready uh, for romance. I mean, if you look at how the nine of wands has dropped, it's like you're coming out like maybe you weren't. Uh, ready to date maybe you weren't excited about dating maybe you weren't excited about a person now we're not going to jump to conclusions right but we are going to see how this person feels about you so if you have been in kind of this uh i'm not able to be vulnerable right now situation i feel like somebody's making helping to make you drop your um to drop your guard um to let this in so what do you think about this person how do you feel about them what do you think um, you're very guarded. You're looking at them as very guarded too. The five of wands, the three of swords. So you guys may have met when you're both coming out of something. Okay. Cause how, what do you think about them? How you feel about them? This is going to be, uh, in how you see them. So they could be recently broken up with somebody recently gone through something. Um, the three of swords could also be just, uh, how you're feeling. I don't want to get my heart broken. So I feel that uh, when it comes to this person, I almost feel like you're scared. Uh, you're, lo you're lowering your guard, but I feel like there's more fear than anything. The four of pentacles, it could, you could see this uh, in this person just as well. So even if they're helping you to lower your guard, um, so that you, you know, you feel vulnerable around them. I almost feel like you can see that same, um, energy within them. The five of wands is, you know, all about being conflicted, being afraid of being strung along. Um, it's, it's like, here's what I'm going to say. I almost feel cancer. You're so we are the energy that we attract. So if you, um, coming into this connection where had your guards up um, and you weren't really, you know, quite sure about dating or relationships or romance. Um, I almost feel like you kind of attracted that same energy to you. You can see that they have their walls up just as well. Um, and I feel like it's probably because maybe you guys even connected off of a breakup. So you guys could have recently just come out of relationships. Um, independent of each other i don't feel like this is a, a per, this is it's not a person the intention i set is the new energy but i feel like maybe you guys are holding on independent of each other to old energy um who is this person we have death card coming through so it could be a scorpio who is this person dealing with cancer the four of swords so this person is somebody who's actually needed this transformation um I, okay so here's what i'm going to say I feel that th this person, you guys are going to be mirroring each other in a lot of ways. Uh, the fact that you guys have met and connected, um, coming through with death, that's, you know, it could be a Scorpio, but this is also about transformation. So I almost feel like the, as this person's kind of helped you to lower your guard, you've done the same for them. Um, the four of swords says that this person's been on a break for some time and the three of wands, I do feel like they're kind of, you know, hopeful about new love, but I feel like this whole time before they've met you, They've had their own walls up and their own um, insecurities about romance. So how do they feel about you? How do they feel? They're scared. They're scared. This person is very... They're scared, okay? 
Um, here's what I'm going to say. The, the fear is coming from this. You guys, I feel like you have both um, been with people um, in your past that have um, left and it didn't feel good. All right. So I feel like they're, this person's fears is coming through the, um, you know, when I get to know somebody, they always leave type of mentality. And I feel like they, that's what their fear is, um, how they feel about you. But I mean, they're happy. They're happy to have met you. They're happy that you guys are hanging out or communicating the three of cups. Um, but it's almost like this person, um, if they had an ex, which I do f kind of see it in their energy, uh, possibly this, this ex of theirs, uh, was in a third party or had them in a third party situation. So maybe they got cheated on or something. And, um, I almost kind of feel like they're projecting those fears outward. Not that you're going to do that to them, but I do feel like it's a fear. Uh, but overall, they are happy. Um, but I do feel like they're scared that it's like when once we build this connection, are you just going to leave? I kind of feel like that might be the same energy that you're in. So what do you need to know about this person? What do you need to know about this person for cancer? The Page of Pentacles. The two of pentacles. So the biggest thing you need to know about this person is they might go back and forth with you. I don't feel like it's juggling um, people. I do feel like it's juggling maybe a lot of things. But I also feel like this is kind of going back and forth on deciding what they want. All right. So this person, um, I, I feel like they might be coming off a little bit wishy-washy. But that's where you're going to come in when you decide cancer where you want this to go and tell them hey what you know i, I i'm not doing the wishy-washy thing you know and not, you can't categorize everybody um what you need to know about them justice card is they probably did go through a pretty br a bad breakup or divorce i feel like that's where justice is coming through um so this person um it might be beneficial to take it slow with them and not be too rushy because um it, it might end negatively if you try to rush it with this person um, but ultimately, uh, I feel with the Page of Pentacles coming through, this is about manifestations and kind of making things come to life uh, as far as what you can see, how you want your life to be. Um, I feel like this could actually, it has the potential to go um, pretty far, but let's just confirm that with the short-term potential. Again, this is for you and somebody new. It's not an ex, all right? It's not an ex that you are dealing with. This is new, and we're just confirming. Um... We're just confirming what you need to know. So the short-term potential, here's what I'm going to see. Um, there's going to be more of this uh, back and forth energy because of this person. And, and I feel that... Um, I feel that your healing is probably at a rate that's a bit faster than this, than this person. Um, so I do feel like they're going to need time because the Five of Cups shows up again for short-term potential. And that's all about reliving kind of the past. So somebody's still kind of not over the past. Regardless, I, I feel like it's coming through on this person. But just kind of a reminder to you, if you've broken up with somebody a week ago or even a month... Um, you might want to take it slow. All right. The moon card right here shows that I just kind of feel this person's going a little bit dark before they kind of resurface and come through as that Knight of Cups. So I feel like uh, with this connection, Cancer, um, for those of you who resonate with this, it's going to take a little while before you actually see some positive forward movement. All right. So what is your advice when it comes to this connection? The advice. We have the five of pentacles and that does show in reverse um, and the nine of pentacles. All right. So that to me is just saying um, if there's any healing cancer that you need to do. Yeah. Um, the advice you guys might um, it might not be favorable to like pursue or try to pursue a whole big old relationship with this connection that comes through um, because I feel like there could be some things in both of your guys's past that needs to be cleared up. Uh, the five of pentacles is releasing that that uh, fear of abandonment, the fear of rejection. Um, so there just might be some healing on both parties. Um, I feel more so it might just be focusing on yourself while this person clears any energy if it's something that you feel is worth having in your life all right so let's pull some initials and see who is coming through all right so the initials this is going to be yours or this person or however the uh, letters resonate with you um we have s coming through we have q i know that was upside down f p b Oh, look, NJ. And then we have double R. 
All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I, I know that this is not going to resonate with anybody, but I do hope that you guys will like the video to those that it does resonate with so that other people have the opportunity to see the messages. And as always, Cancer, I love you guys.